Today, an old friend was coming back to the narrow gauge railway. His name was Fearless Freddy. Everyone had heard tales of Freddy. He was fast, fun, and fearless. Thomas pushed Fearless Freddy into the transfer yard. Hello, Freddy, whistled Sir Handel. I haven't seen you for years. Fearless Freddy is back, huh, Freddy? I didn't know you two were friends, Chuff Thomas. Oh, yes, huffed Sir Handel. Freddy was the fastest engine in the hills. Suddenly, Reneus and Scarlo raced into the yard. I'm the winner, peeped Scarlo. No, I am, wished Reneus. Who are you, chuffed Freddy? We're the fastest engines in the hills. I'll show you who's fastest, tooted Freddy. I'll race you down the mountain. I'll race you down the mountain. Reneus and Scarloe like to race. They steamed off excitedly. Freddy was determined to win. Freddy huffed and puffed up the mountain. Flatten my funnel, he wished. I used to be able to chuff up here in no time. Reneus and Scarloe were waiting to start the race. If I get to the bottom without you bumping my buffers, I've won. We All right, Gillis, Freddy, tooted Reneus. Ready? Steady? Go! <laughs> Freddy raced along. Reneus and Scarloe tried to catch up with him. But Freddy was racing very fast until he began to run out of puff. Oh, no. Those young engines will bump my buffers, he chuffed sadly. Suddenly, he remembered an old track. The old Rocky Way, he wished. No one will remember that now. Reneus and Scarloe didn't see Freddy go a different way. This way's much quicker, huffed Freddy. I'll be at the bottom in no time. Freddy rejoined the main track. Soon, Freddy was at the bottom of the hill. I did it, huffed Freddy. Those young engines couldn't catch me. You're so fast, wished Reneus. Race you again, Chuff Scarloe, please? Of course, tooted Freddy. Fearless Freddy never says no to a race. <laughs> In no time, the little engines were ready to race again. We'll race you down the other side this time, puffed Reneus. The other side of the mountain is very steep, wished Freddy. You're not scared, are you, peeped Scarloe. Of course not. I'm Fearless Freddy, chuffed Freddy. <laughs> Off we go! <laughs> Freddy raced ahead of the other engines. Soon he began to run out of puff again. But Freddy didn't want to lose. Then, Freddy remembered another old track. The Craggy Track. Puff Freddy. I know this railway like the back of my buffers. And soon he arrived at the bottom safe and sound. But Reneus and Scarloe weren't safe and sound at all. The track was very steep. Reneus and Scarloe were determined to bump Freddy's buffers, so they were racing very fast. Faster, we Scarloe! Then there was trouble. Reneus raced right off the track. Oh no! cried Scarloe. Freddy was waiting at the bottom of the mountain. He was very pleased with himself. Suddenly, Scarloe raced in. 
Reneus has come off the track, Scullery cried. And I don't know where he is. We were trying to catch you, Fearless Freddy, but you were too fast. Sir Handel arrived with the narrow gauge controller. He had heard what had happened to Reneus. It's all my fault, sir, chuffed Freddy sadly. I used old tracks. You tracked us, tooted Scarlowy. And now Reneus is lost and in trouble. <laughs> no, he isn't, whistled Freddy loudly. I can find him. I know all the old tracks. Please, sir, follow me. Freddy led the rescue party along another forgotten track. The track wound down to the valley. And there was Reneus. I'm so happy you found me, peeped Reneus. So am I, <laughs> chuffed Freddy. In no time at all, Reneus was back on the track. And all the engines chuffed back to the transfer yards. I'm sorry I tricked you, Puff Freddy. You're much faster engines than me. But you know all the old tracks, Pete Reneus. Please tell us about them. So, Freddy began to tell the young engines tales from the old tracks. Everyone was happy, fearless Freddy was back. Bad. Stitch fluffle. <laughs>